Next, Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government. Violence against journalists, including kidnappings, disappearances, beatings, and murders, is on the rise in many Eastern European and Central Asian countries. At the recent Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe's Human Rights Meeting in Warsaw, Brian Atwood, the head of the U.S. delegation, outlined the deteriorating situation. The Russian government has increasingly constricted the exercise of freedom of expression and recently imposed new restrictions on Internet access. The United States is particularly concerned by the recent increase in Russia of violence, harassment, and intimidation carried out against individual expressions of peaceful dissent, particularly against Russia's involvement in Ukraine. And Russian-backed separatists pose a serious threat to journalists in eastern Ukraine and Russian-occupied Crimea, where five journalists have been killed and many more have been physically assaulted, abducted, detained, threatened, and intimidated. In Tajikistan, there is growing concern over the government's intermittent blocking of social networks and independent news websites, as well as increased harassment and intimidation of journalists. In Azerbaijan, authorities have launched criminal investigations of over 20 peaceful organizations, detained civil society leaders, arrested others, frozen organizational bank accounts, and harassed staff of organizations. In Turkey, the intimidation of journalists by officials and the ownership structure of Turkish newspapers have the combined effect of restricting the diversity of views and promoting a climate of self-censorship. In Kyrgyzstan, the government made criminal the act of falsely accusing someone of committing a crime, including in a public statement and or in the media. In Kazakhstan, a regressive criminal code expanded the definitions of criminal defamation. And in Hungary, potential prison terms for defamation were lengthened. And Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan continue to imprison human rights defenders and journalists. <laughs> Democracy and liberty depend on a free press, said U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs, Douglas France, on this year's World Press Freedom Day. Shutting down opposing views, whether by jailing journalists or trying to block social media sites, or worse, is not a demonstration of government's strength. It's a symptom of a government's weakness. That was Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government.